Welcome to Dumb and Dumber Part 2. Okay. Wind's blowing 25 miles an hour out of the northeast. We had white caps rolling down the canal. We took a beating getting over here. And I don't know how this audio is going to sound because I'm going to have to edit the crap out of it. There are four boats on Lake Hatchinal right now, and we are all right here because this is the only place in the lake that you can actually stand up in a boat. So, full moon tonight, major spawn in February. Hopefully, we'll get on some fish. We got on two good ones yesterday. We'll see what happens. Y'all stick around. There's fish moving around. I don't know what they are. Oh, there's a bite. First cast. Ooh, I got it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice little male. Cool. Put the poles down before we run over that bed. Mad little male. All right. I just picked up the Pippinator, the big trick worm. And. I mean, that's an apple color. I don't even know what color it is, but that was a male. Picked it up, flipped it in the edge of the reeds. About two and a half, three feet of water. Can't see the beds because it's kind of windy, but we're pitching the areas. We're pitching the areas that might have beds. And there's one. Explain, buddy. Where's your mama? Okay. Nathan just asked a good question. He was worried about not having heavy enough braid to flip and do what I'm doing with this rod. But how you size everything is what matters. I've got a I got a GL650, which is a Loomis blank, medium heavy fast. I've got it on 40 pound braid and a three aught super line PWG hook. I can't overpower my tackle with this medium heavy rod. 40 pound braid's heavy enough. The hook's big enough. I can't break it. Nathan's throwing a medium rod, which is, he can get away with a lot lighter tackle. He's got 20 pound braid on with it, but he's not got hook. with a five aught light wire hook. And he can't overpower that braid or that hook with the backbone of that rod. So when you're sizing your gear, you always want to size your line and your terminal tackle as small as possible. Sorry about that. To get more action in your bait, but you size it based on what your Rod is capable of. Quick tip. Just a around. What's that? Where is that from? That was the big or big old one. There we go. You got it? Yes, you got it. Got it. Ah, another little male. Male number two. We haven't found a female yet. And we found a little angry males. Now this one's much smaller than I thought. Number two. There we go. Strike one. Here we go. <laughs> Whoopsie. Got it. I'm coming. Just keep him pan. Oh, he's not that big. Got him. He's getting hung up on everything he possibly can get hung up on, though. That's a nice two pounder. Nice one, Nate. Nate just downsized about five minutes ago with his flipping rig to a small creature. I got him a nice chunky two pounder. Flipping right there in the cattails. I've caught two out of buggy out of buggy whips and he just caught one out of cattails. They are here. Flip a stick. 
Agora sim. On the prawn. Six inch prawn. First time I ever fished it, I got a six inch I don't want to do it. Maybe two inch. Yeah, fish number three. Three for me, one for you? Yep. You the bucket? Yep. Okay. Right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a boat here mm -hmm. 20 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Fished right down this line. Mm -hmm. But they weren't fishing it right, apparently. Don't be afraid to fish behind another boat. I do it all the time. Where the only ones left? Oh, there's one more over there. Everybody else went home. And we're catching fish. Don't know what their problem was. All right, here's what we're doing we're pitching, buggy whips, and cattails. Here's my setup. Got three quarter ounce tongues of bullet leg barber stop on the top. I got a four all EWG super line hook with another barber stop right on top of the knot there. And that holds the bait on a little better. And we're flipping small profile baits. This is the prawn. You don't want a lot of flappy things when you're pitching buggy whips and cattails because they just get hung up and wrapped around. It's just frustrating. So. Slim line bait, pitching in the cattails and the buggy whips right now is where we're finding fish. And we're still trying to fight this wind. It is blowing us all over the lake. And we're out, and we're supposedly out of the wind. But we're gonna keep fishing, y'all stick around. We may not be there long, but that's where we're going now. All right, so we're tired of playing with the little males. I'm quite tired of flipping, honestly. Back is not happy with it. We're running to the outside line and gotta fight this wind for a few minutes and see if we can't get a bigger bite. These females are not up shallow, shallow, or at least we can't find them. So we're gonna, we've only got a couple hours this afternoon to fish. We're gonna go try this outside line for a bit. Y'all stick around. Well, we're done. Two and a half hours, four fish, all males, no real size. I guess the biggest one was about two and a half, maybe three pounds. Uh, don't know where these females went. They, uh, they weren't up shallow and we can't get them to bite out here in the deeper water deeper being, you know, five feet on this, on this line. So, uh, got a lot of rain coming tomorrow, Monday. Still a full moon. We'll be back out and see what we can find Monday. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time. Catch you later.